They're going to be able to see you, though. Oh, he can't see me? Hi! So, yeah, this is us up here, but so you can see. What? What? When I said hi? Oh. Very loudly. Hi, Jason. Hi, <laughs> Naves. Look at me, didn't Move stop to and say hi to us last night. Seven exactly. Did you say something? A second. All in favor, uh, Fred? Oh. Yay, Fred. Can you hear us? Fred, did you hear that? I don't think we can hear him. I think he's talking. Barely. Can you hear me? Mike just. Okay, Mike just did a roll call vote for opening the meeting. Starting with you. <laughs> All right. Terry. Yes. Stephanie. Hi. Mike. Yes. Four zero. To open the meeting. Okay. So here we're here to discuss <coughs> several items. No um, hearings tonight uh, at our meeting for November 9th, 2017. And so the first item on the agenda is um, a conservation restriction at 833 Salem Street. And I believe that we've got uh, Brad Legals here to talk about it and also Mark Cooperman, Mark Cooperman yes. You want to brief us? Hi, Brad Legals, 833 Salem Street. What we're doing is expanding Groveland self-storage and um, we went through National Heritage for conditional no take and what's we have to put well i think it's 1.7 acres plus or minus into conservation restriction as part of our national heritage deal i think mark cooperman can take over from here he's more privy to what the you know what transpired between national heritage uh john christopher and you know so he's got the language for that so i'm going to turn it over to mark I don't know if Mark could hear that. Andy, I don't know if you can hear me. It's cutting in and out. Yeah, we hear you. We hear you. Can you hear me okay? Just, yep. Uh, I heard Brad start. Uh, I'm not sure if you would ask me to take over, Brad, but let me know when you're done. Yeah, Wait, go he's ahead. He's all set.
storage unit facilities just to the north of the cell tower uh, lease and the safety fall down area. And then just to the east of that, you'll see the proposed wooded corridor at 1.71 acres. And that is, uh, the, that is what will become the conservation restriction. It will first uh, go under a deed restriction during the process and then ultimately into a conservation restriction. And Brad's project engineer and I, Ian McKinnon, we um, came up with a, uh, a meets and bounds plan for that that has been approved by Natural Heritage in addition to um, some fencing, et cetera, that will also be part of the project for, uh, for turtle protection from, from entering the site. Um, the reason this block was chosen here, uh, I originally selected it when, when looking at the site and obviously tried to keep most of the development towards the front. Um, but if there's any kind of a connective corridor remaining, it's right through here, through the cell tower area in addition um, to this and then onto subsequent properties both to the, the west and east. Um, again, it's if you go to the third sheet, you can, you can see on the overlay um, that Ian did for us, you can see that it's, it's fully wooded, in fact, um, pretty heavily dominated with white pine in that area quite a bit. Um, and we don't have any, um, we don't expect a lot of turtle activity in this area, but obviously we do know that th this general vicinity has, um, has plantings turtles. There's no, there's no real nesting area right in this block per se, because it is fully wooded. Uh, and there's also no, there are no wetlands located within there either. Um, that's about it. If anyone has any questions um, on it, I know I've sent sent off the uh, the draft CR that we have. Is, is John on here with us? John, are you here? No, he's not. I don't he's not, okay. Okay, no, that's fine. Um, that, that is the draft, uh, the CR, based on uh, the MISA template, which is pretty straightforward. And again, in this one, there's really, really, there really are not any um, custom nuances. So John and I pretty much stuck to the, the template that was given to us by MISA uh, as far as that goes for the, C, for the CR language, which will ultimately be recorded, obviously. Um, and I think the idea here is that the town would um, accept this through the Article 97 process, right? Make it make it easy for everyone, and <coughs> and ultimately hold the the CR, or as a, as stewards of the CR. So this is basically. Um, an isolated landlocked, landlocked parcel, right? Pretty much at this point, because um, as you're all very familiar, I'm sure there's the large um, daily project just to the south of us. So that that now comes right up to it. Um, that's right. So that there's no longer any wild open space there to the south. So that will, um, yeah, that would be landlocked by parking and roadways that, that ultimately get developed on that project, I believe. Correct. Yeah. It's too bad it's not really connected to the town property on the other side there. Where, where, is, where is that one? That borders it on... Um, no, on the other no, side. No, it's the like at the other side of the cell tower, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think that town property, that's what I was, the town property is to the west of the cell tower, correct? Yeah, right, right. Right, so that's why, so ultimately, we, kept, we, we sort of used what was, you can see that the site itself did not have a lot of connectivity to begin with. Um, after we did the wildlife habitat evaluations on the site and determined that really the portion that we're using for the proposed development um, much of which is already existing um, dwellings or landscape, et cetera. Uh, there just wasn't a lot of, there wasn't any nesting habitat or anything unique like that. 
So it seemed most logical to keep, for whatever purpose, the connectivity here. Um, although, ultimately, as you know, the, the project to the south of us, actually south and southeast of us, is basically going to end up landlocking that, as you, as you mentioned. But you couldn't make a corridor over to the town property? What's the purpose of the corridor? Yeah, we, we can't do anything on the cell tower lease. We don't own it. All right, Brad. Uh, yeah, I know it's Shaka's property. Yeah. It's so I think, I think that's the issue as far as property. putting formal a, a formal easement or something over there, through there, rather. I, I think there were issues. Um, Brad, correct me if I'm wrong, but we can't. We really can't take any ownership of anything on the, no. on the no, cell tower. Way. You can't get an easement? I would have to look at um, that cell tower permit again, but I believe there's already an easement running through it for the cell tower. Like yeah. up that up that road driveway, I believe there's already an easement running up it to allow for um, whoever, I think Verizon owns that tower. For to allow them. You and you could always go through my storage facility. Yeah, no, I was just wondering, you know, because I mean... I believe it's going to have to stay wooded. It's less than ideal habitat, even because it's not connected to anything. Yeah, one acre. Well, unfortunately, National Heritage has a formula of a conditional no take. Yeah, no, I understand. You know, so but it doesn't, me, I would like to have it doesn't make sense, really. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's frustrating a little bit, I'm sure, for you because you're dictating this, but yet. What's the sense? I hear the time. It's just uh, a paper exercise almost more than anything yeah, else. Yeah, I don't really know how this is benefiting the turtles. Well, the site, and that, right, and that, I mean, the problem with some of these remnant sites that are on the outskirts of these priority habitats is, in fact, this, is that in the rest of the site, you know, unless the site had just a nesting habitat or something like that on it, that's right, its, it's context is a little, um, a little awkward, I guess, at best. However, you know, it is, it is in mapped priority habitat, so in going through the process, and in fact, we, I should mention, um, we did not actually, we were not required to do a full conservation and management permit application. This one's a little unique, and we just sort of just made it through the general review process in uh, what is called a conditional no-take. So with conditions, including this and a turtle protection plan, which we've put in place, you know, throughout construction, post construction, uh, is really kind of the priority at this point is ensuring that obviously no turtles are directly taken during construction. So measures are, are put in place to ensure that, yeah. uh, and also leaving a little bit of a buffer around there afterwards. And then we, and we get this little landlocked conservation restriction parcel. Yeah. So the, the area behind it looks like it's been completely clear cut. It has. It's Sewell Street. Yeah, that's well it's it's the it's the bit the forty beyond project. the cell tower where they haven't said what they're doing there yet, right? That's no, they're before. they're putting oh, a building there. Oh okay. So, so for a parking lot for So this so this little habitat is gonna have a storage facility, a cell tower and a development all the way around it. Yeah. It's not benefiting any turtles. Yay. <clears throat> okay. okay. Anyway. It would be the ending corridor between the town forest, the town van, the cell tower into that small pass. Say what? Sorry? That would have, it would be the dead end for the turtle. Right. It's the, it's the end of the road if, yeah. they, if they come from the west. It would be the turn around. It would be the U-turn. Exactly. <laughs> Let's put a cul-de-sac in, Brad. Uh, yes, yeah, essentially, essentially. I mean, it's it's acreage. Um, 1.7 acres. It's nothing. It's like my backyard. Yeah, but okay. it's <laughs> it's. Uh, That's gonna be wooded, right? So. Wooded. Uh, and it's only percent. So I was what I was saying earlier. So we had to obviously. We have to meet the performance standards for MISA, and you know we we did that. We actually exceeded them. 
um, for the for the percentage ratios. You know, well, I don't think regardless. we're criticizing you. I think we're just saying. No, 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 I know, I know. I'm just explaining the process a little bit. Yep. I get it. it it's not. It, look at it. It's we, we do a lot of these. Yeah, it, absolutely. It is by no means the most poignant um, CR parcel we've done. It's it's got limited it's got limited utility. So, All right. So the question is whether we take it into our well, are we? Yeah, are we willing to be the holder of the CR? You know, every CR has to have a holder. Normally, we we have CRs on our property held by third parties like Essex County Greenbelt, mm -hmm. Fish and Game. Um, and so, how about National Heritage? No, they don't hold CRs. Is there a reason that we would object to holding it? Well, all right. So first of all, what benefit is there for us to hold it? Um, the benefit is, you know, we are helping to set an example by protecting turtle habitat, which we believe in because we have plenty of turtle habitat on our land. So there's that. Um, Except it's negligible in this case. Well, yes, but still, you know what I mean. Still, it's it's an example that we're willing to do that. Something okay. Than yeah. Right. What's what's this fence? Is that around your property or around the? That's my existing. Are you talking a six foot chain link fence? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I have a one acre parcel right now. Grove and self storage is on. Off of Nelson Street. Okay, so it's not, we're not enclosing this in a fence that the turtles are going to have to try to scale, right? Right, correct. Okay, so that's just here. It's just a. Not, and actually, not, it dovetails into the back of my storage facility, which is in fence. Probably about 15 foot parcel. Back into, I don't know what's going on. You know where my facility is, or the building is? But that connects it to another wooded area. And I'm not sure what's proposed. Whether this will actually be, the, 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 open, the open space will be outside the project fence after the, the new facility is complete. Yep. All right, so the facility is going to be fenced, not the, not the habitat. Right. right. So, so, so that's one benefit. Um, Trying to think if there's anything else, it, you know. And, and the material comes out of building four, but that parking area it actually has somewhere to go. Yeah, and even though um, it isn't legally connected to our property, the turtles don't know that. The turtles don't know that. That's and right. And they can cross <laughs> where the cell tower is and into this new recreation area, and who knows, you know. They right. might go there. You never know. They might cross the pavement and dodge the cars. No, but there's no pavement there. There, there won't by be the any. cell towers. No, there's well, there's no gonna there's gonna be if if no they're pavement. building there's no, pavement. no pavement there. Okay. But there's, it's a dirt road. It's an access road. In 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 this part right here is all, it's, it's not wooded. But the part, but but the part south of that rough. though is all going to be that the new, yeah, development. Yeah, well. So so they're going to have to. Is, uh, go ahead. A lot of this, as I told Brad when we started, is a lot of this was just some some timing because um, had we come through, you know, five years ago, for example, before the other project, then this would have a different context. Right. 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 But the other project had already started. Yeah. Or if the this property were purchased by that project, which he was interested in doing, it would be different too. Right, exactly, exactly. And he, he may have had to make mitigation area somewhere else on his property. <clears throat> All right, so Mike, if we don't take it, who does? Well, uh, if we don't take it, you know, then he, he would have to find another third party like uh, a state agency, Fish and Game, or uh, land trust like Essex County Greenbelt. Is there but, any you know, the, the, both of the, the same problem exists with them. How do they justify such a small parcel? 
Um, for us, it's not that big of a deal. We're not some big, highly paid organization <laughs> that we have to try to justify the cost of doing this, whereas they do. Right. So they're not as apt to do it. Is there upkeep that we have that we're responsible for then once we hold the CR? Well, we're responsible for um, monitoring it and defending the CR if there was uh, encroachment on it. Um, most, mostly it's monitoring it. You know, you have to do a report. What, what, how often is the reporting? Is it every five years? Just for the CR itself, or is it? Yeah. I think for you guys, it, it might just be five years. Yeah. Um, there, there is very, there's going to be little to no monitoring in this one for obvious reasons, um, and that nobody's really going to go there. But nonetheless, five years. Yeah. Um, there's no, there's no, we don't have any, um, any mitigation in place as far as restoration. Yeah. Right? So we're just. We're just leaving it. We're not modifying it and replanting or anything like that. It has to be monitored. Right, right. So it's just it's just every five years you got to walk the property, make sure there's no encroachment on it, that kind of thing. Right, right. and you guys put it in your file and submit it. it um, that, that's pretty much it for this one, and it's just it's gonna, going to be very uneventful. Yeah. Uh, the, I mean, the only abutters really are, the only active abutters are going to be Brad. Right. actually got you know some control over it obviously and eyes on it so um, I mean it seems that I agree the you know having done numerous projects like this the third party agencies are generally not going to migrate towards this for their portfolios um, it's small it's probably not connected or near connected enough to something else in their portfolio um, so that's probably most of the ones you mentioned right? Probably, probably going to shy away from this. Is there any reason we would want to take a look at it in person? Well, if you want to, but we've been out there. You know where yes, it is. Yes, yes, yes. It was unremarkable. Yes. It was a cell tower. It, it, with it, ravens. With ravens. <laughs> it, it, in, like... Uh, Mark said, you know, we're the most likely to want to take this because we have the property right over there, you know. Okay, so I motion to accept the conservation restriction at 833 Salem Street consisting of 1.71 acres. Second. Okay. As proposed. Yes. Any further discussion on it? No? Okay, hearing none, then we'll take a vote. Um, Terry... Aye. Stephanie. Aye. Fred. Oh, he said aye. <laughs> uh, Mike, yes. Okay. Passes unanimously. Great. Thank, thanks, everyone. That's, right. that's a big help. Um, I think it'll, it'll be uh, painless for everybody. Thank you for your patience and that's explaining everything. I appreciate that. Yeah, of course. If I could, uh, and if I can just ask you one last time, if you guys could kindly just get me a a very simple um, letter, confirmation letter, you know, yep. even just summarize these minutes in, in formal voting acceptance. Yep, okay. I, that's some, something we have on our uh, to-do list for MISA for items, items owed to them. Okay. I could only get sure. you draft minutes, excuse me, I could only get you draft minutes until the next meeting, but I can draft up a letter. Or you can do a letter that basically says yeah. what the vote was. Okay. Oh, yeah, just a simple cover list says, you know, during the minutes that was voted upon, you know, unanimously, five to one, whatever. Okay. That we, we will accept the CR. Uh, okay, dope. Real, real simple. No problem. And then we will name, and then as we, as John and I modify the, um, the CR document, which we'll send back to you, we will obviously, we'll name the town as, as the holder. Okay, thank you, Mark. All right, thank you all. Bye. Thank you. All right, good night. Thank you for coming. Hey, you're welcome to stay for the rest of the meeting. There aren't any hearings, but there's exciting, there's exciting stuff coming. You, you all have fun. <laughs> <laughs>
right. We always do. Have a good night. All right, cheers. Okay, so the next thing is the Pentucket Regional School District seasonal waiver request. So I couldn't remember, I don't remember how we left this, Annie. We left it with, I was going to go out and do a site visit to see where they were at. Um, yep. I think I went like a couple days before November 1st. Yep. Um, they had finished demolishing the middle school and had stabilized that area they had in, put in the foundation for the athletic building mm. with that corner that's in the um it, within the jurisdictional zone all of the erosion controls were up and the extra erosion controls were added um in the schedule for it was um they were going to continue to work on that athletic building um they should have finished out finished up the exterior work mid-december the athletic field joy should have or should they sh they will be they will be. okay yes sorry um what was i the field yeah where the old middle school was that they were finished demolishing they are planning on doing that in march um and they will have a curbing set that will kind of keep any runoff within it um they don't plan on doing anything more than that curbing until after april though all right so they should they do they have a waiver because we authorize no, no they don't have a waiver oh we authorized no you, you did we did oh we did yeah because at the last meeting we we authored the board authorized you to sign off on one uh, depending on how my site visit went yep. with you know the updates saying. so we did and we've given them a waiver yes okay we issued one okay and the waiver is requires an update in december okay and the stuff that they're planning to do in march maybe we should have them come to us again in yeah, february right. why do uh, they have to do that in march i wonder there's construction schedules. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. This, this needs to be done, then this needs to be done. And, gotcha. And if you wait too long, then everything gets pushed back. I've never been to one of those construction meetings. So I don't know. All right. And we're happy with the way it looks, happy with their responsiveness. The erosion controls were repaired per Terry's. They were. They were. They, they had been already done that email update that they had sent out had made it sound like they had not yet been done but yeah. they had already been done okay. when i emailed them right okay. after the meeting he was like i'm that was a typo i'm sorry they had been done okay. all right yeah and you verified that um, oh yeah 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 that i think they would lie but it's always good to yep. verify yep good all right well then so so we'll put on our agenda for our December meeting to review the status of the current, um, the current waiver. And so Annie's going to go out just before then and give yeah, us a or, or even or should we have a site walk or? Yeah, let's do that. I like site walks. Uh, okay. Um, do you want to? We we better schedule it now then, right? When's the meeting? December. December fourteenth. 14th the last possible day I know so how about the Saturday before that or okay. do we want to do it during the week I don't know what my sketch <laughs> is yet for when that did week. oh you guys went after oh, on a weekday I don't know I don't, what I don't, I don't know if they have availability for weekends wide open. I don't know if they have availability for weekends. Oh, oh, Given oh. the size of this, I don't know. Friday the 9th, I know that I'm off that day, if that works for anybody. And they, That's fine by me. Yeah. And I know also, after I went out, he was like, yeah, that was a late site visit, because they, they're done at like 3 normally, and I think your site visit was at like 5. Can we do? No, um, it, to pick it wasn't, but it was it was Probably four later than they wanted. Yeah. 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 I mean, I can do any time on Friday. I don't know you what you're doing. Want to do like uh, nine o'clock on the ninth? Sure. I one o'clock on the ninth. Hold on. My daughter's flying in. Oh. 
but I'm probably going to have to pick her up somewhere. How would I know when that is? <laughs> <laughs> well, come on, it's a month from now. I, I got plenty of time to figure this out. I could also do the eighth if you don't, if that works better. Looks like I'm only working Tuesday, Wednesday. <clears throat> Does the eighth work better, Terry? <clears throat> well, the ninth might be perfectly fine. Okay. I just need to. Yeah. Well, Thank why you. don't you? Uh, why don't we say it's going to be December 9th, and you let Annie know what time, and then she can just pass it, pass it on to everybody. He's looking it up. Oh. Yeah, still. Your, your, your faith in my abilities is not <laughs> warranted. <laughs> All right, let's put this on hold for a second. Okay. All right. Circle back. Yep. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really. I know, it's bad, <laughs> Really <isn't> don't it? <laughs> say that. <laughs> All right. I don't understand. Just office jargon. Oh. Like cheesy office jargon. Cheesy. Yeah. Circle back. <laughs> Just circling back to that last point. Um, All right, next. Center. Next uh, is 154 Center, yes. So I attended a meeting of the Zoning Board of Appeals earlier this month, and the discussion was regarding 154 Center Street, the property which you'll see the map. Uh, is within half, yeah, where is it? It's um, unfortunately the maps that I was given don't have the wetlands delineated on no. it. That's no. why I gave you the my map, yeah, so uh, you can try to. So, if you look it. at the my map photo, um, the wetlands is primarily on the right side of the lot oh. but it, it kind of oh with those it's little, not a straight line but the little looking marks. Things. yeah yeah over there and and so you know the buffer zone for you know almost is right to the edge so the buffer zone 100 feet you know and it, it it's not a straight line obviously but it's like the right portion of the property about the one third of the right portion of the property so what are they trying to do over here well they tr it's a change of use right now it's a it's a um it was a um what the heck did they do millennium plastics oh yeah it was like a light, light manufacturing, manufacturing. Uh, facility so they're going to change it into a dumpster storage facility oh, right next to a wetland yeah right but the dumpsters are not full. They're supposed to be empty. They just, it's almost like a transfer station for dumpsters, for empty dumpsters. Oh. They bring them in, then they send them out. Like a 1-800 junk. But it's just the containers. Yeah, but except still sometimes they'll be overnight, they'll be there. Yeah, Sounds there's like gonna racket. be there's gonna be leaky stuff. No. They oh, don't yeah. accept leaky stuff. Okay. What is it? One eight hundred junk? Is that what you said? No, like it's that, like that. Like like that. It's not. That's not what the business is. But it's like similar to that. Like if you ever see, yeah. Like or if, I don't know, if you're moving someone out and they're just tossing everything. Yep. So, so anyway, just just to um, um, tie it up. So I I went because of this reason. You know, I was kind of concerned. Um, because they weren't filing with us. So I... Um, How did you know? Annie told me. So so uh, I requested the ZBA, which they can't require them to do, but 
re, uh, they're they're telling the applicant that he really needs to file an RDA with us. Okay, good. Yeah, I like that. So you can get more info. So they are going to file an RDA, right, Annie? The special permit won't be issued until the December ZBA meeting. Okay. <clears throat> so. Who knows? I don't know if they're going to file one. I haven't heard anything about it. Well, I hope they file. Yeah, I mean, you heard what their lawyer said. Yeah, they don't want to file. Why? Yeah. Because none think... of their work is jurisdictional. Because they're not, they're not changing the site at all. Oh. But, you know, what harm would it be <laughs> that they file an RDA? What harm would it be? Yeah. It's going to uncover all kinds of stuff that they don't want uncovered. That's what kind of harm. Yeah. I okay. mean, they've got, there, there, there's parking, it looks like. Right up to the wetlands. 25 feet from the wetlands. I mean, right. obviously there's no delineation or anything there. But um, there is a natural berm. Okay. Just so maybe not RDA plus site visit would be. Yeah. Well, if if we get them to file an RDA, we'll go for a site visit, right? If we request one, don't they have to? No. Why? Um, because they're not. We, we could. We could because you, we could say, "Hey, look." Uh, you know, we we suspect there could be a problem there, but they wouldn't have to grant us no. a site yeah. visit. But if they're, according to this, parking right up to the edge, then... But so is Millennium Plastics. They're, they're going to say they're grandfathered. They already did say they were grandfathered at the ZBA meeting. How did I know that? There's no such <laughs> thing as grandfathering, no. That's baloney. There's no such thing, right? It's like, oh, I've always ruin this I've always wetland. Done this. So I, mean, I can continue to do it. In the in if you don't believe that, just look at 104 King that's Street. That's exactly what I was just thinking. But so there is no the such thing. The work at 104 King was took place after the well, bylaw. It was after the bylaw, but it was also work they filled in a wetland which is a jurisdic which is jurisdictional. Just parking near a wetland is not jurisdictional. Well, it's not jurisdictional work. I mean, there are businesses on Main Street that I can think of that are right up to the wetlands. Well, yeah, that's yeah. talk about you know, look right next door. Do you know what that is? That's the highway of yard. Groveland Highway Department. Yeah, I know. I just, I mean, if we're talking about setting examples, I guess it would be nice to make sure that. Well, again, these places are it's about, abiding by the rules and regulations. Right. It's about fairness to all. Right businesses and residents in our town who obey the bylaw. I agree. So that's, you know. Can we can we do a site visit regardless of We can't trespass. No, we can't trespass. It's <laughs> raining on my parade. Um, okay. All right. Now, can we find them? If we add a reason to believe that they yeah. were violating. Such as this photo where they're parking 25 well, feet. Well, again, if it's, that's if it's been there for... That's from two years ago. That's three years ago. That's Millennium Plastic. That photo's from but, 2019. But three, three years ago is still after the bylaw. If you're hmm. looking at, you know, has it been there for 30 years? I don't know the answer yeah, to that. do I. <laughs> I, so. th I, I think I get really caught up with it in the sense that if they were if they were to pave the parking lot, that is a completely different story. They would have to file with us, period. But they are not proposing to do any work on the site. This gravel which, here, what does that mean? That they're going to put gravel? No, in? that's what's existing. Yeah, but do we allow do we allow um, diesel trucks to be parked within the hundred foot buffer? Here it says limit of proposed contractor's yard, so. Terry? I'm sorry, what's the question? Do we allow diesel trucks to be parked within the 100 foot buffer? Or even 50 well, foot? Well, diesel trucks, if you're talking about just a, a vehicle, I, I, I think your question is more, do we allow like excavating vehicles? Well, 
we don't. The, the answer is no, we don't during construction under a notice of intent. But we obviously do not ban vehicles in the 100-foot buffer if you never file with us, right? You know, during construction, we have right in our orders of condition that you can't leave a truck overnight in the in the buffer zone. Right. But there's the, the, even though these trucks will be parked overnight in the buffer zone, they're not filing, so it's kind of a gray area. So are they constructing this gate, or the gate is already there? Because no. if the gate's not already there, that is also... I mean, the wetland appears to be right where the gate. Yeah, are they going to dr- dig holes in the ground to put a fence up? So it's, it looks like there is some construction activity that's going to happen. And it says temporary grading easement. What's that's, that all That's about? the sewer. That's the sewer. The sewer line runs right through the right-hand the side one of that, this. Um, the alias. Okay. Yeah. All right, so that's, that's got nothing to do with them. It's just is, yep. It's just noted. Yep. Yeah, which I'll we'll get to that in my program. Well, when that sewer is going in, we can sure take a look at it because that's under our jurisdiction. That but project. maybe that would be after the fact. They're starting that pretty soon, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they're going to do it pretty soon. How far? How far away? Now, that's going to be one of the earlier things that they work on, right? Not anymore. They're working in the opposite direction now. They're starting from the development. Hmm. I th- when, or, <laughs> when did I'm not they sure s- that's true. When did I, hold on. Let me. <laughs> I said it, I and I don't talk know to if it's true. One of the dry. water commissioners about that. Yeah, hold on. Let me double check my text messages. Um, I still think you got to start from the sewer. Should be there in January. Stream crossing in the spring, then tie in late spring. All right. So that's a. So I. They're going to do the stream crossing later, but they are going to start from that direction. I think you sort of have to. I got... No, it's okay. Nope, <laughs> nope, nope. Got that I'm one. I'm going to fire you because of this. Oh, just the facial expressions. <laughs> All right. So, well, the, <laughs> the question is, are they going to file an RDA on their own or not? <laughs> I mean, if they're doing any construction right there, then they kind of have to. Yeah, but... They're going to try to avoid that. Avoid construction or avoid filing? Avoid filing. Well, if they're doing construction and they don't file, we can, we yeah, can but what slap can, them. What construction? Gate. Whatever this gate is. Any sort of excavation. Within concrete driveway. Mike, any, and we, 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 we chastise people for digging oh. holes with their shovels. No, I, I know. I'm just... I'm so if they're there with a backhoe... Playing devil's advocate, believe me, because I already think they should file. That's I mean, why I went to the meeting. I guess I'd like to drive by and see if there's a gate already. No, there's there not. isn't. Well, there's then, no fence up. it sure looks like that they're putting a gate up. All right. So please contact them, Annie, and tell them they must file an RDA with us due to the construction of fencing and gates. And it says bituminous concrete light driveway. Right. I thought, it's un- is it unpaved or is it paved? Where does it say that on the plan? Right by the gate. Concrete driveway. Coming off of Center Street. Yeah, so the, the entrance to is paved and then it does it, turn gravel. It's currently paved. Correct. Okay. Yeah, they're not planning on paving anything All in right. the jurisdiction All right. area. All right. And those retaining walls are up already? Yep. Okay. All right. You think that'll work? No. The retaining wall. No. Is that the no, dark he hasn't line that you're this looking at? Fly. I think it's the... Adam Costco is going to tear this apart. <coughs> in the photo or on the... On here. Because you don't even need a dark line. He's not going to even need a building okay. permit for that gate. Well, it doesn't matter if he's excavating holes in the ground. If he's doing any work within. People put a deck up and they put in 
little uh, piano tubes, and they have to file with us. No, so. I know. I'm just saying I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> well, well, what, it's not about whether it works no, or I, not. I, he has I'm to not, file. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that this is going to turn if into he, a fight. If he needs to file and he doesn't file, we just start fining him. Yeah. No. I mean, we're just... No, I know. Our I'm, job is to protect the Wetlands Protection Act. No, I realize. And my job is still warn you when I think things are going to go badly. <laughs> well, no, but we, we understand. I mean, that's why I went to the meeting. I know they don't want to file. But... Um, I don't understand why not. It's just yeah, a basic procedure. Right. It's, it's procedural. It's like, I mean, just the fact that you would fight this makes me say, like Terry says, what are you really doing there, then? No. I mean, that's ridiculous. Okay. What's next? Next is the town forest plaque. We saw the pictures. I, I, saw, very, I saw the pictures. Very nice. Yep. Very nice. It looks wonderful. That's all. I really yep. like it. The woman who, Judith Kidder, um, the woman who put it up, wanted the commission to know that it was up. Um, I went out, took a picture, it looks great. Um, and she also said that someone had cleared all of the trails on the Groveland side of yeah. that area. Yeah, we that. don't know who she did She asked that. who did it. I said, I have no <laughs> idea. I told her I'd ask tonight. Did it yeah. look good? Or was it over cleared? Or no, no. It looks good? It looks yeah. good. Okay, I, good. I saw it when I, I had taken a walk up there a couple of weeks ago. It's a Christmas miracle. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, which reminds me that we do need some work, particularly in Meadow Pond. Yep. Uh, if, if we want to do it. Well, didn't we talk about having a play day? Oh, yeah, yeah, we did. We, we did. did. I don't well, remember we should do it. What we decided on. Yeah, we should do it soon before the snow flies. Um, it's going to be 75 on Friday, so tell me about the snow. Mm. Well, I would like some snow. You want to set a date for that, or what do you want to do? How about a week from Saturday? The 19th? I don't know. Is it? Um,. What time? Because I could we do it like noon and, or later? Only will because there be beer afterwards. I, I will bring beer, but um, I have an and appointment yes. in the morning. The answer is yes. Okay. <laughs> the nineteenth, you said. Yeah. Yeah. And what do we need to bring? Chainsaw. Chainsaw. Hansaw. Should we ask uh, Carl Keen to? Bring his <laughs> ATV and haul stuff around. That was very helpful last time. I mean, I emailed Sandy not very long ago, and I didn't hear back from her. I don't know. She's moving her store. I think she already moved it. Okay, then she has moved her store. Um, but seriously, it would be, it'd be good to have a... Time on that day. Should we say 1 o'clock on Saturday the 19th? Sure. Me so invite Carl. Meet at... Town Up Tack Road. Oh, Meadow Pond. That's where we're going. Yeah, yeah Meadow Pond. Sorry. 1 p.m. Meadow Pond. Any send reminders? Yeah. I've already forgotten. What day was I'll that send again? A the 19th. Invite. I'm kidding. We'll bring beers. After chainsaw use. Oh. Yeah, right. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Waiver requests. Seasonal restriction None? waiver requests. Everybody's. Buttoned up for the winter, yep. on their best behavior. Yep. Life is good. Thank God. Easy CPA projects. Yeah, so I expect that two are going to be filed, both at VZ Park. The first is for a project being undertaken by the Groveland Garden Club and- Mostly Diane, I think. Diane Plantamera. And it, it's for a 9,000-square-foot intense reforestation at the top of the hill using the Miyawaki method. So that it, it ends up being about a quarter of an acre. And it, it's going to take probably three to five years to complete. And so she's working on that right now. The second one is um, to improve the um, the landscaping along Washington Street from 
the home that we own there at 199 down to the other end of the property. Both of these I'm hoping will be in final draft form by our December meeting. So I'll try to get them out to everybody and then we can take a vote to uh, re take a vote to approve them. Are you writing this? I'm writing the the landscaping one. I'm hoping Diane will do all of the other one. Okay. So to approve them, what does that mean? We we don't have no we're just, over funds. These are we our proper. This is our property. Oh, okay. So to say yes, go ahead. Yeah. We could be, basically, got it. we're going to be sponsoring the project. Got it. Endorse so it. we got to we got to endorse it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. And money's coming out of CPA for yeah. that. Yeah, those are, they're both CPA requests. All right. Cool. All right, next is the approval of the October 12th minutes. Move to approve the Second. October 12th, 2022 minutes. Any Second. further discussion? With any the, corrections? If anyone wants to change run off to run, or run off to run off, she can. One Otherwise, edit. I don't care. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> All right. I think it Take a vote then. Uh, Terry. Aye. Uh, Stephanie. Aye. Fred. Yes. I just barely hear Mike. His little yes. Voice. Unanimous. Wow, we're cruising along. Next is our update from Annie. Slow month, obviously, as far as new filings. Um, not a ton new overall. Um, Lower Center Street is looking good. Um, 38 Benjamin Street buttoned everything up in the nick of time for the November 1st deadline. Um, Sewell Street did all of their clearing work that they needed around their stormwater features, the ponds there. Um, so they cleared a lot of land. Um, they're not... Talk to Joe. Yeah, I talked Mike to him has. yesterday. He's he would tell us if they if they if he was having problems, right? Oh, oh. He says he's having problems, but it's not within our ability to do anything about it. Why? What kind of problems? He says that right behind his house they're working right up to the buffer zone, but it's not. They're not working any closer than 25 feet. Annie and I went out there and looked at it, and you know, under the bylaw, we wouldn't be allowing that. But under the, you know, the bylaw doesn't apply. So, you know, under the state rules, they can work right up to the 25 foot. So I tried to explain that to him, and tell him that it wasn't our doing, you know, on a 40B. But he's not. He was. He was talking about. The water getting being... flooding in his basement and stuff and, yeah and that that didn't come up but if it didn't come up it probably well, didn't happen no he didn't say that he just doesn't want them working right 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 okay doesn't think they should be working there well they shouldn't but that's <laughs> yeah it's out of our control <laughs> that ain't gonna change all right um, what else you got i have begun putting up the safety zone hunting signs in meadow pond just need a few more leaves to drop. I'm hoping to be able to get that completed next week. Um, other than that, uh, Rebecca and I are working on getting an inventory of all of our trails. Um, it's going to be a process, but it'll be a fun one. And for as far as like my stuff, that's it. I do have some stuff on their calls, meetings, and upcoming but I don't know if we want to just... Yeah, go ahead. I, okay. Um, as far as calls, um, nothing super out of the ordinary. Um, I've, I've had no... Oh, I lied. We Mike made me aware that there is some ATV action happening in Meadow Pond. Um, we talked to some of the residents there who are, have been reporting the problems and I spoke to the environmental police and they basically said that it needs to be the residents that call when it happens because hearing the reports three days later from 
two people removed does nothing to help them try to like end the problem did you give them contact info yep um and it also happens at daily's site on sewell street so i told daily and i mean vanessa's had problems at vz with people motoring over there that's on us to monitor that this is the state that would have to handle it so it's that would be the police like just groveland regular police um this is the state who handles it um and so I, I asked them if they could start calling dispatch when they notice it, and they said they would. Um, and they were out there. Remember, he told us they were out there. Oh, yeah. When I was there, I did a, a pre-construction visit um, there, and um, Daly's foreman, Scotty, was like, I, you could see the tracks <laughs> like that were buzzing around the place. But we couldn't find them. We couldn't find any within Meadow Pond or like within the con- like within the uh, DFW land. We couldn't find any tracks, and we looked. <laughs> um, uh, upcoming projects. There are two lots at the end of Center Street on the West Newbury line that will be filing with us. One is gonna be an RDA, one is gonna be a full notice of intent. Um, I don't have the plans yet, so I can't show you anything. They haven't officially filed, but they are going to be on the December 14th meeting. Um, There are two new houses. The first one, the RDA, some grading and a portion of the foundation drainage pipe is going to be within the 100 foot buffer zone, but outside of the 75 foot. The full notice of intent, the second lot, the entire a large portion of the driveway is going to be i think right up to the 25 foot buffer uh buffer zone again it hasn't been officially filed but i took a look at their septic plans so um that'll be on the next meeting for um upcoming projects so is that next to like the crane wildlife management area over there no Um, it's across the street yeah It's on the other side of the street from it, right next to Webster Way. It's a dead mm-hmm. end. Mm-hmm. Um, right on the town line. Okay. Yeah, w- the second parcel is actually split, barely. Like a little sliver of it is in West Newbury, but it's like right up to the line. Interesting. Um, it doesn't have an address yet, but it is. You'll see the for sale sign if you go out there and drive by. Okay. Um, and then more, in kind of importantly, um, the River Pines housing development in the back they are performing an environmental review for um to receive funding through the state or federal government and the town has to perform an environmental review the Haverhill housing authority has been doing a lot of the legwork for it which we thank them for part of it is um not only the conservation commission but other entities within town kind of signing off on it and giving support The projects are um, like keyless entry, uh, repointing the chimney, redoing the kitchens. Um, None of it is actual site impact work, but it doesn't matter. Anything they do has to require an environmental report. Um, And they are looking for the support of the Conservation Commission with this application. So can we just write a letter? Yeah, they're just looking for a letter stating that we see no potential impact that this could have um, yeah, and that's, uh, environmental like replacing not, doors and things like that it's not, it's not a wetlands issue it's an environmental issue yeah they do specifically ask about wetlands um it's just part of the, well, the how process. far are they from the river there you, you can 500 say, feet okay <laughs> say you know it doesn't uh adversely affect yeah it's not impacting uh you know the wetland protection act or our local bylaw or you know habitat priority habitat regions or anything Just reference all that yeah try, try to like i have to reach out to the historic commission for them to be like these are not historic buildings like we're yeah. okay with the work so it's kind of just one of those like bureaucratic checks that's so interesting um but i just wanted to bring it to the conservation commission thank you to see if i could get a vote potentially to approve this letter that i'm i move to approve a letter written by annie to support the project the environmental review and environmental review and report at river pines second 
Any further discussion? Terry? Aye. Stephanie? Aye. Fred? Mike? Yes, unanimous. Thank you. That was a big one. That happened today. That's why it wasn't on its... Uh, Tell us uh, just a little bit more about your meeting with the Bagnell oh. teachers. I knew I was forgetting something. Um, last Friday, Bill and I met with um, some of the fourth grade teachers to talk about getting the um, trail program restarted with them. They were very receptive to it. Um, a lot of the teachers who had been a large part of the program had retired since 2019 when I think the last program took place. Um, it was really an initial meeting to kind of just reintroduce it, introduce myself to the teachers, like bring the ones who hadn't been at the school at the time up to date with what we did. Um, they were very receptive to getting it back up and running. They do now have more restrictions with things as far as their curriculum and whatnot. Um, they have applied for a grant through the Mass Cultural Council to have um, some type of environmental scientist work with them to go out to, they had already done this, to go out to Meadow Pond, um, Town Forest, and I believe Center Street Greenway as well to, I think it was more kind of like habitat, like let's look for like deer, pup, whatever. Um, but so we started that conversation. One of the teachers was interested in having me come by to present and talk about what the Conservation Commission does and what natural resources are and why wetlands are important which I thought was cool. Um, it's fun presenting to grade school kids. Yeah. So it went really well. Um, we're going to keep keep on keeping on being in touch with them, and hopefully we can get that program up and running again. That would be good. I will send you the CPA proposal. Okay. And what we've done so far, what we've spent so far on it. Okay. There are some restrictions on how it can be used, at what properties certain things can be done. Okay. It'd be easy if you just read it. Okay, that would be really helpful. Thank you. I love it. Okay. Uh, any other items for discussion? Um, what time was that site walk proposed for at Pentucket? Uh, Friday the 9th at nine. Whatever time. Nine works for me. If it. What uh, was it? Was it nine? Yeah. No, we ha on December 9th. Yeah, I mean, nine is nine work for everybody else? Just a What's a good time? Give us a time. That works for me. Oh, okay. Is there a better time? No, let's do it. Is 10 better? If All you right. like, let's nine go. I, I get here at 7, so. 9, 9, let's do 9. And that's at um, Kentucky. Kentucky. I'll reach out to Matt to schedule that. Where are we that. meeting at their, at that, they still have that portion of the where the middle, middle school, school used to be oh is that where yeah remember when that's we where we there. should have parked when i visited they had me park in like the regular parking lot at the, the front big, the big one yeah okay that's what i did last well, I mean, time it's not, what are we talking about walking 200 yards right every yeah. time you go there there's changes Different to traffic the topography patterns. exactly yeah. they have that big sign saying new traffic pattern be yeah. be aware yeah. no they don't but um, okay, so nine o'clock. So we'll meet at that building. Well, right? I'll see where they tell us to meet right. because okay, I don't think it's they. Who knows what could happen by then? Okay. So. All right. All right. Bueno. Uh, let's see. Anything else? I can't remember. I don't think so. Not that I can think of. I just appreciate everybody on the conservation commission doing all the hard work. Move to Second. adjourn. Any further discussion? Hearing none. Terry? Terry aye. Aye. Stephanie? Fred? Aye. Mike? Yes. Unanimous. Thanks, Fred. Um.